Hi, I'm Demi Stevens, founder and CEO of You're the Book Press and editor-in-chief of Self Pub Magazine. I am so pleased to be here in the studio today with author Jennifer Foxworthy. Welcome. Thank you so much, Demi, for having me. It's an uh, absolute pleasure. Pleasure to be with you. Tell us a little bit about your new book. My new book, um, it's been published for a moment, well, about a year, but it's called Tomorrow My Sunshine Will Come. Memoirs of Women Who Survived Domestic Violence. Oh, tomorrow's a much better dream at that point. Yes, this is uh, a collection of memoirs uh, of six ladies, to include myself. We overcame the odds of what people perceive of domestic violence. It's a, such a horrible epidemic that they, people think that you're damaged. Goods. You know, I heard a statistic just earlier today that said 40% of women go through some form of violence and I was shocked. Yes, ma'am. Um, one in the st national statistics is one in four women will be in an abusive relationship in their lifetime and one in seven men will be in an abusive relationship in their lifetime. So it's women and men, but this book happens to portray women and I wanted to put a positive spin on it of uh, sunshine and you know tomorrow mm -hmm. that there will be a better day and that you can get out of it and so it chronicles our stories uh, from childhood on to when they met the their abuser uh, what was the straw that broke the camel's backers uh, and many of them were literally fighting for their lives and then how did they pick themselves back up to survive, to get back out there in society? It's and such, such a story of hope and inspiration yes. that there's something else beyond, something worth fighting for. Uh, would you mind to tell us a little bit about the other ladies in the, in the story? How did you meet them? Yes. Um, one is actually my best friend who lives in York. Um, the other ladies, so five out of the six stories we were in the military. Mm -hmm. So many of uh, the situations were service member on service member. Oh, so ouch. that's something that I try to be a valuable resource to our armed forces that is happening within our military. It can't get ignored. It adds another layer though of absolutely. complication, right? Yes, absolutely. So these are, were women that I, kept in touch with and once I got out of my relationship and started to share what I had experienced because I kept it hit, hit with hitting yeah, I think that's inside a natural myself thing. for five and a half years. No, every, I wore a, a smile on my face thinking, you know, showing people that everything was great in the relationship when it truly was not. So once I start to speak up and explain to people that I was writing this book to give uh, hope to others that to not feel alone and ashamed. That's when I had other friends say me too. And I was like, wow. Wow. And so I wanted to, and they were ready. Um, many of them shared their story for the very first time in the book. Um, and it began their healing process. And so I realized going through my journey that there is a difference. I consider myself a thriver, a domestic violence thriver. I mean, there is a, to me, a difference between a survivor and a thriver. A survivor physically <laughs> made it through. Yeah, that's, it. that's all I could do. Exactly. They have physically, um, they're out of the relationship, mm -hmm. but maybe mentally and emotionally still wow. held captive in the uh, in that relationship. But you're clearly you've stepped out beyond that. Absolutely, I found purpose from the pain. So that's the hope that I want to give to uh, victims, to survivors. That especially survivors, the story's not over. I went through a process of awareness, of rest, restoration, and then ultimately forgiveness. Mm. To me, it, that three-phase process, that long journey catapulted me to being a thriver. To where I, I'm like, wow, okay. I, it was like a sense of freedom. Yeah. 
Um, You've opened up and stepped into that light. Absolutely. Instead of holding everything in, yes, I'm out of it, but I'm still resentful. And um, I still feel like damaged goods. And I still feel like... um, I'm the ugliest thing walking from the on the face of the earth. Oh no, you are a Christmas present decorated with <laughs> We are fearful women. Absolutely. We're fearfully and wonderfully made. And so that's the mindset of a thriver. Mm-hmm. And so this book, it helps gives insight and inspiration to the abused and non-abused community. And when I say non-abused community, it gives them a, on an educational sense, you know, cause they have so many questions. Well, why would somebody stay in this relationship? Why would they allow someone to put them, their hands on them? So this takes them through a series of uh, circumstances that happened early in a person's childhood that led to low self-esteem and low self-worth. And that's how domestic violence Oh, well, I just can't wait to help you share your message because I know that of the viewers out there, there's someone who's been affected by this Absolutely. and needs needs your hope and that message that you're delivering. Where can our viewers find your book, Jennifer? Well, I like to tell people that my website is a one-stop shop. So www.inspirationallyspeaking.com. Wonderful. If you click on Jennifer's book, you will see four tabs, uh, four links, and it will take you to Create Space, Amazon, Barnes and Noble, or Books a Million. And you can get your book. You just click on whichever you desire, Super. and a transform transfer you right to that site, right to that page. Wonderful. I think there's a purchase. local place uh, where some of our readers might pick up your book as well. Yes, up in Carlisle. Gospel for You Network is ran by Pastor Joanna Burchett. She's the founder. Big shout out. Yay. (laughs) Love you, Pastor. Thank you so much for carrying my book. Absolutely amazing. She's in Carlisle, Pennsylvania. She has a stock of uh, books of authors, uh, local authors. Wonderful. Yes. And uh, she, yes, it's like a, a book consignment shop. Perfect. And she's carrying it. So, yes, Gospel the number four, the letter U, network, and um, you'll be able to, yeah, go, go straight to them. Perfect. Thank you so much for joining us today. Oh, my goodness. A delight. <laughs>